What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. So, I use lawn chair launchers on pretty much all of the LG devices I got. This right here is the LG V60, and I'm using the lawn chair launcher 12, as you can see right here. We got lawn chair launcher 12.1.0 Alpha 4, but lawn chair recently released the lawn chair. 14 update and this is obviously updated for newer phones with Android 14 as far as you know gestures and things like that which uh, have always been kind of iffy but apparently everything works a little bit more flawlessly on this version so we're going to go ahead and update the lawn chair 12 to lawn chair 14 and check out some of the differences and how it looks running on the LG V60 so here we got the LG V60 and I've already got my lawn chair 12 already all set up. If we go into home settings, this is how everything is going to look. You get your general and you could uh, adjust your icons, your system icons, your theme and adaptive icons. You could go to your home screen and adjust everything from double tap to sleep, which is a really nice feature. Uh, you could do your wallpaper scroll, etc., icon sizes and things like that. You got your at a glance widget on here, which I really don't use, but you can use that if you want to, to give you more of a pixel device looking uh, device. You also got your dock right here to show your search bar, accent colors and your radius and your icons as well. So this is how Android, or this is how the launcher, launcher 12 would look like. So now let's go ahead and download the launcher 14. And as we all know, LG devices did not get upgraded to, L to uh, Android 14. They are Android 13, and that is it for all LG devices. So let's go ahead and click download, and it's going to be pretty easy. You're going to want to download the Lawn Chair Launcher itself, Lawn Feed, and the Lawn Icons if you want your icons to be themed. So we'll go ahead and click download for the launcher. As you can see, it is downloading right now, and it is done. So now we're gonna go ahead and download Lawn Feed and get these files downloaded again. I've already downloaded that as you can see right there. And the Lawn Icons, if they're already the same icons, then they should already download. But the Lawn Feed was already the same version that I've been using. And let's go ahead and we got the Lawn Icons, the Lawn Feed and the Lawn Share Launcher. So apparently I'm going to have to uninstall this version of lawn chair on my LG device in order to install the new version. So we're gonna go into my settings and we're gonna go into apps, app info, and we're just going ahead and look for lawn chair and hit uninstall. And there we go for lawn chair. And uh, we're gonna hit four stop. So in order to uninstall Launcher Launcher, we're gonna to have to go into our settings and click default apps. And right now I have it set as my home screen, so we're gonna uncheck that. And now we're going back to LG's home screen. So we're gonna go back to the settings and go into apps and locate Launcher Launcher. And now this should give us the option to uninstall it so we can install the new version. So we're gonna hit uninstall, boom. Now we're gonna go back to Chrome and we're gonna install all the files that we got. So let's go ahead and download Launcher itself. And let's hope everything works with this version of Android because obviously it is Android 13, but it should be just fine. We're gonna hit done. Lawn feed is already on here. So we're just gonna hit update just for shits and giggles. That's done and icons. We're going to update this app since we already had it on there. This might be a newer version. So now that we're done with Launcher, now we're going to go back into our settings and click default apps. And then we're going to choose our home screen as Launcher Launcher. And boom, here we got Launcher Launcher and Launcher Launcher. And here we go for how it looks. So now here we are on the official Lawn chair launcher 14. So let's go ahead and go into settings and go about uh, the actual app. We got lawn chair 14 beta 2 on here. So very nice as far as the update goes. And here we go for the update. So going into general 
you have the options for a whole bunch of different types of fonts on here that you could change a lot of different options for fonts on this device or on this app you could also adjust your headings on here uh, you could adjust a whole bunch of different things when it comes down to your fonts you go into icons you could adjust your icons so as you see right here we did download the lawn icons on here and you could customize them either on your home screen or on your app drawer or just have them off so we're going to go ahead and have them on the home screen only and as you can see right here everything is icon is going to be colorized or going along to your theme when it comes down to your icons but in your app drawer everything is going to look the same when it comes down to how the app actually looks that way you don't get confused and everything on your home screen is going to be a little bit more uniform so yeah a lot of different settings on here you also have the option for auto adapt icons you could change your icon shapes to either have your system circle cylinder diamond egg ios octagon one ui rounded square sharp square square squircle or teardrop a lot of different options to change your icon you could even create a custom icon shape if you wanted to absolutely insane with this new lawn chair launcher you do uh as far as your transparency goes for theme icons you could adjust that too so that's pretty cool and uh, you can go into your system theme and we have everything set to the wallpaper so it will change your theme accordingly to your wallpaper you also have your notification dots on here now some of these you might have to activate uh, in accessibility when you first uh, install this it will prompt you you just click on it and go into your settings and uh, click um, allow for that in there and then if you go into your uh, home screen you got your grid your double tap to sleep which again you could adjust it if you want to but when you do double tap to sleep for the first time you are going to have to go into accessibility you're going to have to go into accessibility and you're going to go into lawn chair and you're going to have to click this on so it will work along with it and then that will give you the option to do double tap to sleep which is absolutely fantastic nice feature that I love and that LG actually brought to the uh, brought to the market a long time ago. LG was one of the first to do the uh, double tap to sleep. So that was pretty cool. So go into your dock. You have the options to adjust your dock. You can do launch share, which it comes at default. And you could adjust it and customize it as you want. Or you could just go straight up Google and have your dock, your, your search bar down here uh, looking like Google's search bar. So that's pretty cool. And that's enough for Doc. You can go into your app drawer. And uh, you have a bunch of different options for remembering your position. Uh, you could hide apps if you wanted to. You could adjust your columns and your row heights on here. You could adjust your icon sizes and your label sizes. You could even turn labels off altogether to give you more of a cleaner look. And then when you go into your drawer search right here, which is going to be this part right here. If you want to search, you could adjust that accordingly to what you would like it to search so if you go into search options you can show up automatically show keyboard you can search between your apps your web suggestions contacts files android settings and search history so if you click all of these on here you could search between so many different things on here and yeah this will give you the option to search between your entire device the web and files when you go into that search mode so that's pretty cool you could adjust your files your uh, folders on here to adjust the, the rows and the columns again as well you could show labels you could show the uh, background transparency of each one or you could do your icon blur to wallpaper or manage by lawn chair which is pretty cool and here we got your gestures so we got double tap to sleep as your main one you got your swipe up swipe down so you have your double uh, home button tap uh, which is do nothing that's of course if you use uh, your that's of course if you still use your buttons on your home screen and not gestures you also got your back button tap which we really don't use any of those so a lot of different options for launch air 12 and this will give your lg v60 or any other lg or older device you got running some new life and this will sort of give it a new little facelift to make your device feel new as we all know the lg's uh, devices are stuck on Android 13 
they're not getting any more updates so we got to find ways to make our device feel new to us so downloading a new launcher and updating it gives you that feeling of something new and will breathe new life into your older device make it run better and make it run a little bit more smoother as well so this launcher is a lot better than lg stock launchers you can see it gives it a more of a up-to-date look and it doesn't feel outdated yet it gives you a lot more customization as well than the stock android or just stock lg launcher so check out launch here i will post a link in the description that way you could go check it out download the files and install them and you should be good to go and yeah download this on your old lg device you will not be sorry this will give you a facelift and make your device run a little bit quicker thank you guys for watching if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and i will see you next time here on the channel peace